Ever wondered how to buy new crypto before it gets listed? Welcome to the exciting world of pre-listed cryptocurrency purchasing. This intriguing aspect of the crypto space involves acquiring cryptocurrency tokens before they're officially listed on major exchanges. But why would someone want to do this you might ask? Well, it's all about potential. Buying pre-listed cryptocurrency can offer the opportunity to get in early on what could be the next big thing in the digital currency world. It's like being an early investor in a promising startup. But, like any investment it comes with its own set of risks. The world of crypto is volatile and unpredictable, and while the potential for high returns is real, so too is the potential for significant losses. It's a game of high stakes and high rewards. So, are you ready to dive into the world of pre-listed cryptocurrency purchasing? Let's get started. First things first, you need to understand what an initial coin offering, or ICO, is. An ICO is a fundraising mechanism that new cryptocurrency projects use to build capital. It's somewhat akin to an initial public offering, or IPO in the traditional financial world, but with a twist. Instead of offering shares in a company, ICOs offer digital tokens or coins. These tokens can serve a variety of purposes within the cryptocurrency's ecosystem, such as being used as a form of currency, a stake in the project, or access to certain features. The ICO process begins with an announcement from the project team. They'll share a white paper detailing the project's goals, the problem it aims to solve, the specifics of the token, and a roadmap for future development. The white paper is essentially the project's business plan, and it's a critical document for potential investors to scrutinize. Once the white paper is out, the project team will begin promoting the ICO. During this phase, the team will share more information about the project, answer questions from potential investors, and build hype. This is also the time when you, as a potential investor, should start your research. Look into the project team's background, the viability of their idea, and the potential value of the token. After the promotion phase, the ICO will officially launch. Investors can then purchase the tokens usually with other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum. The tokens will be distributed after the ICO ends, and then they can be used, held for potential future value, or traded on exchanges. But here's the catch. ICOs can be risky. The cryptocurrency world is largely unregulated and scams do happen. That's why it's so important to do your due diligence. Read the white paper thoroughly, research the team, and make sure you understand what you're investing in. Always remember, investing in ICOs can be risky, but with proper research it can also be rewarding. So, arm yourself with knowledge and tread with caution. After all in the world of crypto, fortune favors the bold, but only if they're smart about it. Another way to buy new crypto before it's listed is through private sales. Now you might be wondering what exactly are private sales? Well, in a nutshell, private sales are exclusive events where developers sell their tokens to a select group before they hit the public market. You see, when a new cryptocurrency is being developed, the creators need to raise funds to support their project. One of the ways they do this is by selling a portion of their tokens to investors in a private sale. The allure of these sales is the opportunity to purchase tokens at a significantly lower price than they will be when they're publicly listed. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Participating in private sales also carries its fair share of risks. The most significant being that there's no guarantee the token will ever make it to a public exchange. This could result in a total loss of your investment. Another risk is the potential for scams. Unfortunately, the crypto world is not immune to bad actors. It's not unheard of for scammers to set up fake private sales to con unsuspecting investors out of their hard-earned cash. So how does one navigate these murky waters? A good place to start is by building relationships within the crypto community. Networking can open doors to private sale opportunities that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. Joining online forums, attending crypto conferences and becoming part of blockchain incubator programs are all great ways to connect with like-minded individuals and industry insiders. These connections can provide invaluable insights into which projects are worth investing in and which are best avoided. It's also crucial to do your due diligence before participating in a private sale. Research the project, the team behind it, and the token's potential value. Make sure you understand the terms of the sale and are comfortable with the level of risk involved. Remember, while private sales can be a golden ticket to early access, they are not without risk. Always do your homework. Decentralized exchanges, or DEXs, can also offer opportunities to buy new crypto before it gets listed on major exchanges. Imagine a marketplace where trading is not controlled by a central authority, 
but is instead managed directly between buyers and sellers. That's what a decentralized exchange or DEX is. They operate on blockchain technology and allow users to keep control of their funds, rather than entrusting them to a third-party service. DEXs have become popular venues for trading new cryptocurrencies before they hit the big leagues. The reason is simple. DEX often list tokens that are not yet available on traditional exchanges. This gives early investors the chance to buy into promising projects at the ground level. But how do DEXs work? In essence, they leverage smart contracts to automate and facilitate trading, eliminating the need for an intermediary. When you place an order on a DEX, the smart contract executes the trade directly from your wallet to another user's wallet. It's peer-to-peer -peer trading at its finest. Now what are the advantages of using DEX for buying pre-listed crypto? Firstly, DEX provide access to a wider range of tokens including those not yet listed on centralized exchanges. Secondly, as you hold your keys, you have full control of your assets, and finally DEX offer privacy. There's no need for KYC procedures and your trading activity is only known to you. However, it's important to note that using DEX is not without challenges. The user interface can be complex, especially for beginners. Also, due to the absence of a central authority, if something goes wrong there's no customer support to turn to. And, as transactions are direct and irreversible one must be absolutely sure before making a trade. To sum it up, DEX offer a unique opportunity to purchase new cryptocurrencies before they hit the mainstream. While they may require a bit more technical know-how, the potential rewards can be substantial. DEX can be a bit more technical but they offer a direct route to new crypto assets. Crypto launch pads can be your stepping stone to new crypto before it hits the market. Now let's talk about crypto launch pads. But what are they, really? These are platforms that help to facilitate the launch of new crypto tokens. They are like the backstage pass to the world of cryptocurrency, giving you early access to new projects before they go public. At their core, crypto launch pads are designed to connect promising crypto projects with potential investors. They work by hosting initial DEX offerings or IDOs, which is a type of fundraising event where new tokens are offered for sale on a decentralized exchange. What makes Launchpads unique is their vetting process. Unlike open marketplaces, they carefully screen and select only the most promising projects. This helps to mitigate some of the risks associated with investing in new cryptocurrency. Now you might be wondering, why should you consider leveraging crypto Launchpads? Well, there are several benefits to this approach, First and foremost, it gives you the opportunity to invest in a project at the ground level, often at a discounted price. Secondly, it helps to democratize the investment process, allowing a wider range of investors to participate. However, as with any investment, there are potential risks. One of the key challenges is the high demand for these pre-listed tokens. This can lead to congestion on the platform, making it difficult to secure a spot in the sale. Additionally, while the vetting process can filter out less promising projects, it doesn't guarantee success. As an investor, it's crucial to do your own research and make informed decisions. In summary, crypto launchpads serve as a bridge between new crypto projects and potential investors. They can be an effective tool to gain early access to promising tokens, but they require careful consideration and due diligence. Crypto launchpads can provide an organized and relatively safer way to invest in new crypto projects. So, we've covered a lot today about buying new crypto before it gets listed. Let's quickly recap the key points. We started off with initial coin offerings, or ICOs, which are like the crypto world's version of an IPO. They allow you to buy into a new cryptocurrency before it hits the exchanges. Then we moved on to private sales. These are exclusive events where a select group of investors get the opportunity to purchase new crypto at a discounted rate. However, they often require a significant minimum investment and carry a higher risk. Next, we talked about decentralized exchanges, or DEX. These platforms allow you to swap one cryptocurrency for another directly, without a middleman. And finally, we dove into crypto launchpads. These platforms are designed to support new projects and give investors early access to new tokens. Remember, with great potential reward comes great risk. Always do your due diligence before investing in pre-listed cryptocurrencies. Good luck!